When coming to Apple products, the majority of us would associate them with expensive. What if I tell you Apple got a value for money products that you should know? On my hand here is the Apple latest Mac mini PC. Okay, it isn't that new and they have released this for over one year now. This is the first Apple PC that uses its own Apple Silicon M1. It's a system on chip that is packed with processor, GPU, RAM, storage, neural engine, ISP and many more onto a single board. Hi, my name is Joshua Wong. Welcome to Fastway episode 39. I do short and fast tech reviews on this channel. That's how the name came about. Today we'll be checking out the Apple Mac Mini M1 and my main use of this PC is for content creations. I was too excited and I didn't do any unboxing videos. Instead, let's dive into the designs and performance. I got the base model of the Mac Mini M1 with 8GB of RAM and 256GB storage. It weighed at just 1.2 kg, 19.7 cm by 19.7 cm and 3.6 cm in height. Coming to port and connectivity, it has a gigabit ethernet port with an option to upgrade to 10 gigabit ethernet, two Thunderbolt 3 or USB 4, an HDMI 2.0, two USB A 3.1 Gen 2, and a 3.5 mm headphone port. Lastly, an exhaust fan at the lower part of the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini also features the newest Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. Overall, the build is compact and solid. As mentioned earlier, I mainly use this PC for content creations like photos and videos editing. I've heard a lot about how powerful is the new M1 chip, especially power efficiency and productivity use case. So, could this tiny PC replace my mid-tier desktop that has AMD Ryzen 3600, 32GB of RAM, a dedicated graphic card, and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 with 12GB of GDDR6. Here's a real-life test on editing a video with Adobe Premiere Pro. What I did on the comparison test is to render and export a close to 5 minutes 4K video with some color gradings, a small amount of After Effects text with title motions, a max of 3 4K videos stacked onto each other on the timeline. Since the M1 is a mobile processor that is also used on the MacBook series laptops, I added the Huawei MateBook 14S in the comparisons. The Mac Mini crushed it with close to thrice shorter export times. The video export time may not be the best on the Mac Mini M1s given its form factors and no dedicated GPU accelerations. The best part, the fan on the Mac Mini M1 didn't even kick in, meaning I didn't push enough to make the M1 to work harder, which is crazy. There's no lag with video scrubbings and playbacks. Warp stabilization can test how good is the CPU performance and the result is unbelievable. A 20 second video took only 42 seconds, whereas others take 4 to 6 times compared to the Mac Mini M1. Frankly, I was blown away by the performance it can deliver in such compact form factor. I have not mentioned the power efficiency with max power consumptions at only 39 watts where an RTX 3060 alone can consume up to 170 watts. Here's other pros and cons of the Mac Mini M1. It's compact and easy to carry around. You can have a clutter-free desk setup while hiding it under the desk. Remember earlier, I did mention value for money. The Mac Mini M1 is more affordable compared to a PC build with similar performance if you plan to use it for videos and photo-related applications. Coming to the cons, it's non-upgradable RAM, storage, and even graphic cards. Once you decided on the configurations that what you get, you will need a dongle or a monitor that support Thunderbolts if you need to work on two monitors. Not all applications can run natively and require Rosetta 2.0s. If you're buying this PC for gaming, you may have to look elsewhere. It's not that it can't play games, just that it's not M1 stronghold. That's all from me about the not so new Mac Mini M1. If you have any questions like should you get the 16GB of RAM or bigger storage size, any difference on editing on the Mac OS compared to Windows, or any questions about the Mac Mini, do leave them in the comment box below. I'll be sure to answer them. Perhaps I'll do another video why I choose the base models. Did I regret picking up the base models? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you at the next one.